guys, so from the title of this video, I'm, I'm sure you know what this is about. This is why I honestly do not support Jeffree Star, and these are all 100% true. Like, everything I'm saying actually happened. I have proof down below if you want to see it. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, when I was 10 years old, I, like, was super obsessed with, like, the scene and, like, all of that. And I was a big fan of Audrey Kitching, which is, like, one of the reasons I, like, wanted to have pink hair. And I found out she had, like, a feud with Jeffree Star, and I was like, I wonder who that is. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, and I was like, I wonder who that is. So I looked him up, and I was like, oh, like, he seems cool. Like, I like him. So I, like, obviously got super into him. I think it was even friends with him on MySpace. Mind you, I was, like, 11 years old. Uh, 10 or 11. This is like where this year of time falls in. And I found out he was doing a tour and he did music and he was coming near me. So I got super into the music. I listened to all the opening bands, which is how I discovered my friend's blood on the dance floor. And that's where it all started. So when I was 11 years old, my mom and my aunt took me to a Jeffree Star concert. I believe it was the Looking Hot Dangerous tour. I'm sh I think so. It was right after the Too Drunk to Fuck tour. Anyway. Um, I was super excited to meet Jeffree Star. Like, this was it. I was going to meet him. Like, this is someone I idolized. And I was like, cool. So, I go to the show with my mom and my aunt, and I get up there, and I finally get to meet Jeffree Star, and I'm super excited, and I take a picture with him, and he's, he's, like, just standing there. And I was like, okay. Like, he takes a picture, and then my aunt gets in one to take a picture, and he goes, he looks at us, and he goes, next time, only one picture. And I was like, okay, like thank you, and I, like, walked away, and I was like, oh, okay, and I was like, that was rude, and I was like, I don't know, like, I really like him, like, and I, I blew it off, and I shouldn't have blown it off, because the way that you treat someone is very explanatory of who you are as a person, um, I supported Jeffree Star throughout the years, even after that, like, no matter what, I was like, I love Jeffree, he's so cool, and he came out with a clothing line, even, and I, I bought, like, a bunch of stuff, I even, I literally have a beanie, like, sitting right here, um, I really liked Jeffree Star, and I was like, yo, he's cool, he's pink hair, he li like, his music's awesome. And I really supported him until, um, 2013, which was three years ago. Um, uh, my best friend, Zane, uh, he, uh, would match his hair with me. So, I had pink hair, he would have pink hair. If I had, like, a blonde streak in my hair, he would have a blonde streak in his hair. It was just our thing as best friends, is that, that's how we expressed it. We dyed our hair the same color. And he was androgynous. He would wear makeup and like heels and he'd still very much be masculine and feminine. That was just who he was. And people would compare him to Jeffree Star. And I wanted to dye my hair half pink, half yellow because I just like thought it would look cool and I wanted it to look orange in the middle. It was just like this cool idea I had. So I dyed my hair half pink and half yellow. So my pink fell, no, it was the other way around half yellow, half pink, and my yellow fell over my pink, so it looked like I had like this yellow tint, and it was really cool, and I thought it was really pretty. So we did it together, I did his hair, he did my hair, and he had it the opposite way, so his pink went over his yellow hair, so it peekabooed through his bangs, so it was like, it looked like a yellow streak. Well, a year before, on the work tour, when Jeffree Star was selling his merchandise, he had pink hair with a yellow streak in it, and because of that, people would compare Zayn and be like, oh, you look like Jeffree, like, that's who you look like. You're totally like trying to be Jeffrey. And obviously when you're trying to be your own person and that's not where you got your inspiration from, you're upset by it. So he made a video on his Instagram. It was really short. It was like 10 seconds long. He's like, please don't compare me to Jeffree Star and my own person and it just really hurts my feelings. It was like kind of like n nothing a big deal. I don't know how Jeffrey saw it, but he did. And he found Zane's Twitter and said some choice words and I will tell you what those say. I have the screen caps still, I just found them online, so they're out there already, but let me just read them for you. He said, you don't want to be compared to me, don't steal my old looks, then you fucking unoriginal loser, ha 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 ha. You just want attention, which is why you're blocked on everything now, I feel sorry for you, you're growing, you're trying to live my life. And then someone said, Jeffree Star just retweeted Zane, and then he wrote, he's a sad excuse for a person, we should pray for him. Same hair you stole from me, same contact, same bad attempt at my makeup. You're a, mucky, you're a fucking joke, in all caps, and need mental help. Obviously, if you're a fan of someone and they say that to you, you're not going to be very pleased about it. So Zane was like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, copy you. I'm, I just really like you, and I'm inspired by you, and I'm androgynous, too, and my hair isn't to match you. And he wrote, you try so hard, 
and you're fucking disgusting and a piece of shit. Keep my name out of your mouth. Hashtag worthless. You never need, you never had my respect. You're a bad copycat, a disturbed person who needs serious help. Inspired look, exact ripoff. Everyone calls you out, yet you ignore it and get mad when they do. Be your own person, it's disturbing. So obviously when you're a fan of someone, that doesn't go over well. And I was a fan of him too, and that's my best friend. So I felt morally obligated to say, yo, that wasn't cool, like, dude. And he blocked me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I can't support Jeffree Star anymore. And then, a couple years later, it wasn't last summer, but it was the summer before that, so 2004, so a year later, um, someone was being attacked by Jeffrey, they were underage as well. Mind you, Zane was 17 when he said that to him, so he was underage. And, <laughs> I like retweeted, and I retweeted a tweet that was like, Jeffree Star, glad to see Jeffree Star is still like scum or something like that. And I wasn't expecting anything to happen of it because I was blocked and I was like over it and I just didn't feel like it was okay. And you know, as a feminist and a human being that stands up for themselves, like you obviously respond to that. So this is what I received in response to me retweeting that tweet. She said, your obsession with me is getting pretty unhealthy, dot dot dot. Maybe try the gym or therapy question mark ha 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 loser you're more of stupid than I thought you're obsessed why are you still talking to me your daddy issues and lack of confidence makes you sound trite thank you for attacking my weight <laughs> first of all but I don't know I was just hurt by it and I just that's when I was like I will not support Jeffree Star and like soon after his makeup line came out and I was like that's so cool like good for him but I will not get my money to a company that I don't trust the owner of so that's why I don't support Jeffree Star as a person and then it came to his cosmetics line and I've heard so many things about it and you know I love makeup like it's it's what I do here on YouTube like it's what I want to do with my life so I was very curious so my friend had a lipstick and I tried it and I didn't like it and I was like okay well I guess that's it you know so all in all I just don't support Jeffree Star as a person uh, I don't I don't understand why you know things like that need to be said to those people who are, especially when they're underage I was I was 16 when he said that to me my best friend was 17 and I just don't think it's cool and I just can't put my money into a company where I just don't support the person who's receiving my money so I just really felt morally obligated to make this video obviously because this is what happened to me like you know and people ask me all the time like why don't you use Jeffree Star on your channel or like why don't you support him and I just I feel like there's no other way to like say all of this and give all of these reasons without speaking directly to you in a video and letting you know that, that this is 100% honest like this is how I feel this is what happened like there's no lies here all the all the screen caps will be linked down below if you want to read them um, I can't obviously screen cap what happened in real life but my mom and my aunt can vouch for me that that happened and I don't know I just I don't feel right not saying something especially when this is a big time when things are coming out I feel like I have to say something and that's the kind of person I am and that's what I want to do I'm not monetizing this video I don't I don't hope to make anything off of this I just want to let you know that I, Elizabeth Ruth Faborg, do not support Jeffree Star and this is why. So thank you guys for watching this video and just listening to what I have to say. It really, um, I really appreciate it because it's something I'm passionate about and you know I'm passionate to stand up for myself and you should be too. So thank you.